Ron Seidman and the folks from Lenovo lent us their Horizon 2E to check out. This is an affordable all-in-one PC. It's got a 21 and a half inch 1920 by 1080 touchscreen display here. A uh, pretty nice little all-in-one device. It does sit very low on the desk, so if you are someone who has neck issues or something like that, uh, this might be a little bit too low of an angle for you. So I think it's really uh, kind of aimed at kids. And the reason I say that is that it's got in the back here this little kickstand that uh, will go all the way flat. And I'll show you in a few minutes uh, what you can do with that. They have a bunch of educational apps that works with a, a very customized uh, a little interface that they've developed for when it's laying in tabletop mode. So it's really like a big tablet. Uh, it's, you know, it's a little bit heavy to carry around. It's about 10 pounds, but uh, you can uh, actually use it like a tablet if you really wanted to. Uh, the touchscreen looks pretty good. It does have a little bit of a haze on it uh, just due to the touchscreen thing. I've seen this on other uh, you know, low-end uh, all-in-one PCs at this price point. So it's not bad. It's not distracting, but it's not going to be as crisp and clear as you know an IPS display you might see on an iMac or something more expensive. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's got an Intel i3 processor built in, uh, four gigabytes of RAM, and a one terabyte uh, spinning hard disk. So uh, you know because the thing does move, you want to be careful moving it around too much due to that spinning hard drive. So I would probably uh, suggest that if you have kids and you want to move it into that tabletop mode, uh, that you do it uh, without the kid doing it because you want to be very careful. Uh, you don't really knock the drive around too much when you are moving things around here. Uh, it's got you know audio built in, everything else like you'd expect on an all-in-one. It sounds pretty good. It's about what you expect a, a PC at this price point to sound like. And you have a bunch of ports here on the side. You've got three uh, USB 3.0 ports. You have a headphone microphone jack combined here, an SD card slot, HDMI. And what's really cool, this is what I think is actually the coolest feature about this PC, is that it basically has a built-in uninterruptible power supply. I just pulled the power cord out and it's still running. It's got a battery, so you can use the computer uh, if your power goes out. And you know, for kids especially, if they're working on the paper or something and they forgot to save it, uh, you, you could lose power and they have a lot of time, probably a couple of hours, maybe two or three hours, uh, to get everything saved and shut down. So it's uh, got kind of some notebook, tablet-y kind of features in that you can pull the cable on this and uh, be able to keep working. Again, you're not going to get you know six or eight hours of battery life like you'll get out of other uh, low-end Windows 8 computers designed to run on batteries, but you've got a battery and it's in here and it's usable. I would suggest probably every couple of months you know, pulling the cable and letting it run that battery to get some cycles through uh, as you go. So pretty cool. So we're going to take now a look at their uh, Aura interface, which is the tabletop version, and then we'll come back and look at uh, some you know, basic use cases like Minecraft and a few other things. So let's check out that Aura tabletop interface. So to summon Aura, which is the tabletop interface, all you need to do is just kind of push the computer flat and that will uh, load it up. I'm just going to move the uh, computer here up a little bit higher so you can see exactly what this does. So when it comes up, you've got kind of this little interface wheel here. And then I loaded some photos on here. There's a photo section, so you just have to turn the wheel uh, to get your photos. And you can load photos into a specific directory on the computer. And then any photo that pops up in the directory uh, will be accessible here. You can just drag one out and get it there. This reminds me a lot of the Microsoft Surface concept that we saw probably before the iPhone. There was this big demo that I was making the rounds on the internet that everybody was really impressed with. I'm just going to put it down flat here for a second because you can uh, use uh, multiple hands at the same time to manipulate you know, different pictures and do different things. You could have a couple of different kids uh, playing around on, on here and getting those photos out. Uh, there's also an ability to do videos in a similar fashion. So you can go click here and uh, just kind of pull this out here and start playing a video at the same time you're uh, messing around with your photos too. So it's kind of a gee whiz thing, you know, but there is some educational potential to it also. There's an app store. If the world needed another app store, there is one on here. I'm just going to load up this Crayola game real quick. This is kind of a good example of uh, what they're trying to achieve with this. And again, because you've got uh, multiple finger touch sensitivity, you can have, and a large screen for that matter, you can have uh, some games where uh, more than one child can use the computer at the same time. So what we're going to do here, it looks like uh, Santa Claus is on his boat or something, or at least it looks like a Santa Claus kind of guy. Uh, I'm going to go into the uh, two-player mode, and what this will let you do uh, is basically have the ability to, to work on a uh, you know, little uh, coloring book thing simultaneously. So I could start uh, coloring in the horse here, and as you can see on the other side, uh, the horse is getting colored in as well. So it's almost like uh, Google Docs for, uh, for crayons here. So as, I, as I'm coloring in something here, you can see uh, it's uh, copying that over on the other side. So a pretty neat little concept. And again, this is kind of an early stage sort of thing. And it's just, uh, again, maybe a proof of concept about what you could do uh, with a tabletop PC. The question is whether or not 
uh, you know, these kinds of apps will be specific to Lenovo. I mean, really, a lot of other manufacturers could make a computer like this that would sit flat on the table. So I don't know if this Aura store is where you'll see this stuff. It could just be, you know, Windows apps that might support this kind of interface. But I really like this concept, especially with a, with a young toddler now uh, who loves her iPad to have a larger surface to play with. Uh, for younger kids especially, this might be something pretty useful. So that's a, you know, it's kind of a neat thing. I don't think it's a, a real buying point at this point, but uh, it is a uh, interesting concept in user interface. Now to answer the question that I always get with these low-end PC reviews, yes, it does run Minecraft. It is running it pretty well. It's a little sluggish at times, but uh, it is certainly playable and usable. So I think if you uh, are looking for a spare PC or even a primary PC uh, that runs Minecraft that you don't want to break the bank with, this will certainly accomplish that. All right, one more real world test we'll do with Microsoft Word. I found this template that often chokes a lot of lower end PCs. So I will go in and just change a few things here and uh, you know, kind of type around a little bit. And it seems to be keeping up pretty nicely. So you'll see as I, as I type, it will keep up. So that's not too bad. And that's again due to that uh, i3 processor on board. So that is the Lenovo Horizon 2E. It's affordably priced around $750. You can probably find it for a little bit less online. It doesn't take up all that much room on your desk, but it does sit very low on the desk. So I think this is probably better suited uh, for kids than adults. Again, because there's really no way to get it up a little bit closer to eye level. I like to have my computers a little bit higher uh, than this one sits on the desk. Uh, that Aura interface is interesting to me, but I don't think it's really all there yet. I mean, certainly there's some neat G Wiz concepts about doing you know, multiple uh, photo movements and that sort of thing. But uh, from an app standpoint, the real question is, will there be enough development support behind this concept to see a lot of educational apps uh, take advantage of that tabletop design? I think we'll see that if more manufacturers uh, make these kind of PCs, but at that point we'll be seeing them more as uh, you know, Windows-specific apps than something that works within uh, the Aura interface and App Store. So uh, we'll see where that goes over time. But I do like the fact that you can pull the power plug and it's got the battery built in. And you know what, for $750, it's a, a nice all-in-one kind of PC. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.